Show some respect, Stan. Please, come on, don't be so lazy. Come on. At least I can help. Come on. All right. All right. <laughs> Excuse me, Father Ralph. Why is today so important? Let me tell you why. Today, we rededicate the rededication of the rededication, time 17, of the dedication of this room to the memory of Luigi Gagori, renowned painter who in his final days painted this mural, which happened to be the first mural ever painted. Today is a special day, a very special day. It used to be called the Father Soren Reading Room, but today we come and rededicate it to the honor of Luigi Gagori, and we name it in his name. <coughs> Once a room for practicing oratory skills, but now a place of study, coffee, and donuts. <laughs> but paying homage to what this room once was, we will call a friend of St. Ed's. We will call Chris Scott, who generously last year paid for the, re uh, the renovation <laughs> of the room. And he will, oh, shoot. <laughs> Hello. Chris, it goes. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How do you, you. How do you connect? Can someone connect that for me? <laughs> how, how do you, come on. There we go. 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 Chris, do you hear us? Yeah, can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Chris, thank you for writing the big check for the renovation of our Gregorian Lounge, which we rededicate tonight. Could you please give us a dramatic resuscitation of a fine piece of American literature? With pleasure. What are you going to resuscitate tonight? <laughs> Uh, the famous Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. That's very moving. Please. <coughs> oh, please don't tell me that you have to read it to me. We're ready. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Do you like Green Eggs and Ham? You do not like them, so you say, try them, try them, and you may, try them, and you may, I say, no dyes or artificialness, straight up yumminess. Wow, that was <laughs> Chris, thank you. Thank you for calling in all the way from Chicago. Thank you for that wonderful resuscitation. Yes. You're welcome. It's an honor. Thank you. <laughs> but tonight would not be enough if someone who was once here did not share his moving tale of this special room. And we call none other than Drew McClyman. <laughs> Drew, can you hear us? Can you hear us now? Drew, yes, you are here with the gentleman as we are rededicating the Gregorian Lounge. Can you tell us a moving favorite story of your days in this room? Oh, there are too many to talk about, but my favorite one was last year uh, as the RAs and I were unpacking and tearing down the hall for, right after final exams was, uh, no, we had to get the uh, the huge Christmas tree out of there. Oh god! Um, <laughs> we had to cut down the, the tree probably five or six times before we were able to get it out of there. Then we had to spend probably an hour or so vacuuming it all up so it all looks pretty the way you all see it now. Wow, that was moving. <laughs> Thank you for cutting down that tree and making it bite sized to get through the door. Do you ever? Did you ever study in that room? I did it all the time. My sophomore year, I lived in the air. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Is there any words of wisdom you want to share with all the gentlemen before we let you go? Because we know Denver is calling. <laughs> Enjoy it. Utilize the grid. It is a wonderful place. Have meaningful conversations. Go to Folgers and, uh, and cherish every second of it. It's a wonderful place. And uh, I'm honored to be part of the 2023 Red Free Free Dedication. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so very much. <laughs> the very people who lived here. And I have a letter right here, taken from the archives, transcribed, and I will read it to you tonight, of a very person who lived here. He writes, Dearest Mother, I embrace this opportunity of writing these few lines, if not to report all the happenings here at Notre Dame, but merely to let you know that I am still alive and well. I take pen in hand to write you about a most, how shall I describe it, fantastic, and painfully sublime work of art that last evening was unveiled before our young and innocent eyes. Like a ray of light, bright and clean, breaking forth from the heavens, or like a celestial body shining bright in the dark voids of ether realms, a work of art was revealed to us on the wall of our beloved and cherished reading room, a mural of most heavenly piece of art in colors so vivid that it would blind, I dare say, the very muse that birthed it, a portrait of our dear Father Soren. The mural depicts him and the other wonders of winter landscape that is most serene and bucolic, which is a world away from the terrible and trying experiences that we continually endure, but with happy and free, never mind, free from congestion, this mural makes us happier. It is colorful, it is bright and uplifting, it is ours to enjoy. I remain your loving son, Mary Weather Snodgrass, November 30th, 1882. <laughs> so there you have it. But it wouldn't be proper if we didn't let our president share a few words. Mr. Mm -hmm. President. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the rededication of 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 the dedication of the Gregorian Yeah! That is 17 years, that's 17 dedications, 17 years of the Gregorian Lounge has been here. It's been a lounge, a, a, a room to gather, a room to study, a room to sleep occasionally when it's 110 degrees outside, even though the sun set three hours ago. Uh, but it is a room for steads and a room for steadsmen. This lounge, the mural in there by Luigi Gregori, is unique to us and only to us. This almost sacred space <clears throat> is where best friends have been made and where exams have been conquered. It is the perfect place to begin Founders Week. So please enjoy all that it has to offer. Thank you. To mark this rededication, we have this plaque. This plaque will be placed in this beautiful room as a reminder of this moment in time that we all witnessed tonight. Still yet, we have something very special that last year's senior class thought should be placed in this room. And as we read it, go ahead, you can do it. Yes. It is Luigi Cagori himself, who's working on a mullet. <laughs> and on this week, and only this week, will this picture be placed in this room. And he will be placed across the wall, so he will always be looking at the mural that he painted. So without any further ado, Mr. President, would you cut the ceremonial ribbon? It would be my honor. He rededicates it. Woo! Yay! Yay!
Let him press him. He's holding the door. He's a man. Come on. Dave, get in here. Dave. Dave. Come on in. Dave, come on. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. We're going to put him in the right there. Can you get a picture? I love it. The late Professor Gregory. Got them. Wow. Come on. Here we go. Let's shake hands. Thank you.